Right, quick video. Um, I wanted a way so I could see my batteries, uh, see what voltage they were from the comfort of my own home, without having to go up to the shed and check in the batteries. So I built this little thing. Now what you can see here at the top, you've got the actual battery voltage. Uh, there's no decimal point, so it's actually 28.26 volts. And you've got the LEDs along the bottom to give you a quick indication at a glance that it's over 28 volts and you've got mark there. So you've got red, orange when it starts to get a bit low and then, it goes, then you've got the green section for being a healthy voltage. Um, and then the zero at the end is to, it changes to a one when it's actually receiving data from the transmitter that's in the shed. Uh, I'll show you the transmitter in a bit and then I'll go over this. This thing basically consists of an Arduino sitting down the bottom there, so an Arduino Nano. A ice, uh, I, an I squared C display, uh, LCD, um, LCD, LED type. Uh, you got a boost, uh, step down buck converter here. So you've got 12 volts coming in through a power brick in the wall, and then it goes to this little buck converter that takes it down to five volts to run the Arduino and all the things that are on it. And then at the back here we've got a uh, radio receiver module. Uh, I think it's. 433 megahertz it's receiving on. I've had to put a capacitor on the end because I was getting loads of noise on the power hours. So I found that the, the the only way to get these received reliably is to have a very smooth supply. So I've got more capacitors right at the right at the inputs to this module to keep it as smooth as possible. And then we've got LEDs wired along the back here, all hot glued in place with all 1K resistors. That's current limiting resistors. And another cap uh, on top of the yard. Uh, the Arduino just to again keep the supplies quiet because I found that the actual um, multiplexing of the display, which is a multiplex display, was creating uh, noise issues for the radio receiver. And I found the extra caps on the uh, Arduino and the radio module really did help that out. And of course, that's my little boost converter there. So it's quite simple you've got a boost converter going to the Arduino and powering the thing. Arduino is talking via SPI. Uh, to the radio module and again there's a library very simple library for them if you look them up you can easily find the, the libraries for these radio modules and the uh, i squared c display which again libraries are all over the place on the internet for these these you just find the libraries and modify it to how you wish and there you go that's it running all good this is the radio module that i made for it as you see i put it in a case with a wooden stick as an aerial uh, that's one problem i did find with this the aerial length is critical. You've got to find uh, an equation online to work out um, the optimum uh, aerial length for the frequency you're using. And I think 433 megahertz, I think it's around about 6 inches. So literally all you've got here is power coming in, and a little red light that flashes in the aerial. And I'll take it apart, because I've got it in a nice little case. Uh, I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. Right, so four screws, take the cover off, and then inside is a bit of a mess. So a hot glue mess, come on, focus. Um, so we have power coming in here. Oh, where's my finger? There it is. Power comes in here, and I've actually got a um, one amp fuse, just to be sure, because we are connecting directly across the 28 volt, 24 volt batteries. So in case something goes wrong, got a fuse there. Same DC DC converter, and then on the input of the DC DC converter, straight across the batteries, we've got this resistor, which is a uh, voltage divider resistor which goes into the ATD side another resistor here to take that down so to the ground and you've got smoothing caps on the inputs as well one on the ATD just to give you a bit of noise resistance and one on the supply of the so the output of the uh, boost converter a uh, buck converter sorry and then again straight straightforward SPI connection to the transmitter and then the LED here just flashes every time it transmits so that you get a vision indication that it's working and transmitting. And that is literally all it is. Again, all this does in our software is read the A to D, send the hex file straight to the, um, the hex number, straight out via this, this monitor and um, transmitter. Then the receiver receives that and then does some maths to convert the hexadecimal number into a, dis a formula that you can actually display on the seven segment displays. And that's all it is, just basically a wireless voltmeter.